welcome everyone to what I expect to be the final video of our tutorial series about multiplayer session. So before we get back to the, the level traveling using open level and execute console command, I'm going to ask you to do something to fix, to actually fix something I, I make you did I make you build in the n in the previous video. So in the third person game instance, right there, I'm saying find session and for each loop in the array do something. Actually, that's kind of messy. And I think we're just gonna say get the first session you find and just join it. So if you the, the logic behind this is just to have something that doesn't doesn't try to to b to to search through every session and that just return the first one maybe that's that's smoother i don't know but i feel like it's it's cleaner anyway so it's basically saying hey find the search in the array get the first result in the array because the first result is always o or zero so get the first result you have and just join that we're gonna hit play to make sure that still works so on the on the server host the lobby, then on the client join the lobby. So I didn't uh, add a print log, but I think you should do that if you if you trying to build something uh, organized. So that yep that that work that works up hopefully. So we're going to build the uh, open level and travel level logic. So if you remember, we have our interface travel menu. Linked to that, we have the travel level one and travel level two, that that are binded but uh, without any logic involved just yet. So in the third person controller, so I just double click. I I know I want there. I know I want to build logic on the player controller, so I can just double click any any reference to a function of the player controller to write, uh, write up the to instantly either open it or get the focus on the window of the of the controller so just uh, what i did and i can say custom event at custom event player server open new travel to new level so that's that will be basically the the, the event and the link the click on the on the bottom on the button. So I'm going to say hey if you hit travel to level one actually we're gonna do something more generic in order to to build less logic. So if you wanna do that, we will have to say to put a parameter in it. Actually, I wanna, I want what what I wanna do. I'm gonna, I'm going to explain. It. I wanna use the same event for both button, so I need to pass a parameter. So what parameter do I need? Actually, I need a string, not an array, a string, because uh, when you open a level, it's asking for a string name for a string that will return the name of the level. So we need a string that says, hey, this is the level to load. So this is going to call something on the game instance. We may remember when we are building this logic on the game instance because we're handling opening level and that basically del deletes everything but the game instance. So instance travel to level and we also want a string to be passed as parameter as a level to load and uh, we will basically uh, build we will build a controller logic first so as as usual like like the like the opening session we want the game instance to and we want to cast to game instance to say hey i want to travel to level and he wants a parameter, the parameter we're going to have here. So that's it. Remember, you can still do the, the little reroute node thing if you want to build a nice layout. So up, right right there. So travel to level. So that's the basically the logic. What do we want to do here? We want to say 
when I want to travel to level, just open a new level and make all players tr travel with the server. So how are we going to do that? We're going to say command server travel server travel actually we're gonna need to append because here I'm going I, I was going to say server travel level one but then we don't have a generic function that, that that works with every level we want to travel in so I need to make an append and to say server travel don't forget to add a space in it server travel to this level and the specified player is going to be the host actually the host on which the server is on so we're going to say get player controller player controller zero that's going to say hey I want the player controller that uh, the, the server is on to handle this logic so I think that's it actually we're going to check it out but we actually forgot to say I want to open a level Oop. that's not that travel so I say travel I'm copy pasting it so remember to connect that because you can we this function is on the player controller so if you don't if you compile it's gonna say hey I, I don't have any player server travel function in this blueprint so self cannot execute this function so who, who shall execute this function? The third person controller should. So if I click server travel to level one, I want to travel to level one. And if you if you want to travel to level two, you can just say level two. And we're going to check it uh, check it out first. So if I click level one, I want to say travel to level one. I pass this parameter to the function of the game instance. The game instance says server travel to level one or level two. If I click the level two button, I want to say execute console command on the server and I want to say does it work? So I need to open the level to us the lobby. I need the client. I actually need the client to join the lobby. Once the client is on the same game than the, than the, than the server, I want to say, hey, travel to level one. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, at l I mean, that works. Actually, that works. I'm going to make another test. Travel to level two. Yep, the player character is uh, deleted. You you could see. Bus character traveled. Maybe we can ask the clients to travel. So I think that worked. That worked out. So yep, that's it, guys. I think we made it work. So that's it for this tutorial, for this video, but also for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really did. That was that was fun to show you this. Uh, I, yep. So I found that this error was because I tried to open the HUD on the client before the the HUD was actually created. So that's that was the final uh, not uh, a small a small error. So I hope you guys found this interesting I hope to see you for future videos and future tutorials I might I might uh, do so bye bye